Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn how to skip a test in TestNG. We will also learn about skip exception. So in TestNG, there are multiple ways to skip a test case. Okay, we can completely skip a test without executing it or we can skip a test when a specific condition is not satisfied. Okay, so if you want to skip a test completely, then you can use at the rate test enabled equal to false annotation. Okay, it will completely skip your test case. It will not be part of your uh, test like the report, whatever you will see, right? You, it will not be part of that report. Okay, it will like test engine will not consider that a uh, test case at all when the when you are using annotation at the rate test enabled equal to false. But there are one more way also you can skip a test by using test ng skip exception okay if you want to skip a particular test for example there is some specific condition if that condition is matching then maybe you don't want to run the test case right you want to just skip that test case so in that case you can use skip exception also so we'll see all these things in a in our example okay so to do that what i will do i have already created a class test skip okay i'll just copy some methods from here in our uh, previous tutorial we have learned about this so i'll just copy this methods from here okay let me add it here okay we don't need the groups so i will remove these groups from here okay and what I will do, I will add one more method and I will name it as add a product. Okay. And here product is added. Okay. So what we are doing in our first test case, we are doing login. In second, we are validating the page title and in third we are searching for a product and then we are adding it right so the very first thing what we will do we will try to skip this test case right so here you are seeing we are using annotation at the red test then we are using priority equal to one okay so what we will do we will just write enabled equal to false okay or before to do before to before we are doing this right enabled equal to false let me just execute it let's see what is the result so we are seeing all four are getting executed right now what i will do i'll just add enabled equal to false let me execute it see this test case got skipped right we are seeing only three are getting executed so this got skipped but if you want to make it as true again this will get executed okay so enabled equal to false you can use if you want to skip a test case okay like this this is the way you can do again one more thing i was telling right you can use skip exception right so how we'll do that let's see for example this third test case this one we want to use skip exception so for that what i'll do i'll just use some condition okay for example i'm taking string condition is equal to something we'll give for example i'm giving this product not found Okay, then what I will do, I will just write a if block if condition dot equals, I will write this, okay, if condition is matching, then what we will do, we will tell throw new skip exception okay and here 
you can write your message skipping the test what it is showing you can import this so remember you need to import skip exception org dot test ng okay we have imported this then else what we'll do again we'll do a sysout we'll type for example inside else block okay and once you are done with this we are just printing product is found or I, I'll just say outside if else just to show you some difference I'm just writing it let's see okay so before we execute what I'll do I'll just comment this line you see what is happening okay let me execute see total three test case got executed right first this one validate login then anyway this one is enabled equal to false so it didn't execute then add a product got executed okay then search for a product okay priority we didn't change right so let me change the priority to three so the order will be fine okay here the priority was same so this add a product got executed first so let me run it again See, first validate login then search for a product then add a product then what is happening here login is successful this message we got for the first one then what we got product is added okay sorry outside if else so this is our condition if condition equals okay condition matched right condition matched then what it did anyway nothing was here right then what we told it, it didn't go inside here then this got executed outside if else then the, this one product is added this got executed so all three got executed so le now let me uncomment this so we want to skip this if this condition is matching then this should get executed right let's see let me run it again let's see what is happening see skipping the test right so see the result you can also see right earlier if you use this one it will not come in the report enabled equal to false but if we use this this means it is skipping the test you can see this yellow mark right? so here you can see the message you are getting skipping the test okay but if you are using enabled equal to false that will not come in the report okay the next thing to understand here the what are the print statements right for this one we are getting login is successful then anyway this is not getting executed then we are coming here here what is happening this condition is matching right then we are printing or giving this exception when we are giving this exception if you will notice this statement whatever present next to that right these things are not getting executed it's directly jumping to this this test so that is the difference or that is the thing you need to understand here if you are using skip exception whatever added next will not get executed like this print statement didn't execute right didn't so but when we have uncommented this this print statement came right so like that you need to understand if you are using this skip exception once you get that once that condition match you the test case will get skipped it will skip to the that test case will skip and the execution will move to the next test so that is the main difference or these are the main difference between enabled equal to false and when you are using skip exception okay so these are the ways how you can skip a test case in test ng thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel